These are good times for Rafael Andrada. The treasurer of blue chip utility Manila Electric says business is booming. 2012 is a good year for Morocco so far. No? Uh, we've seen uh, significant uh, growth, no? robust growth on all our uh, sales sectors, uh, the commercial, residential and industrial uh, sector. In fact, I think for the first five months, uh, we we're trending towards a 10% uh, growth uh, in terms of sales volume year on year. Manila Electric is just one of many Philippines companies where business sentiment is bullish. That's according to a recent Thomson Reuters INSEAD Asia survey. It's a big contrast to what's going on in the rest of Asia, where the business outlook darkened last quarter due to worries over the global economy. INSEAD's professor Ilian Mihov explains. I think that if you look at the data, there is a good reason to think that this is not just some crazy optimism. The first quarter was amazing. Inflation is, seems to be under control. The peso is appreciating. The stock market has been going up. The Philippine stock market is up double-digit percentages so far this year and was the best performer in Asia last year. Businesses attribute the positivity to a government clampdown on corruption. The, the government is, uh, is pursuing certain reforms that, that is, is light, uh, largely being perceived as positive on a longer-term basis. No? Uh, the the uh, government's uh, initiatives to address uh, transparency issues, corruption issues, and the like uh, should result into, into certainly positive developments. In fact, the country's doing so well. The Philippines is a very, very interesting market. Uh, there are lots of very well-run companies in the Philippines. What's needed there are more listings, uh, more activity in the market. Uh, the potential is certainly excellent. That potential is helping the Philippines and other countries in Southeast Asia remain a rare bright spot in the current global environment. While other markets contend with pulled listings and lower growth forecasts, Southeast Asia is still humming. And that gives investors, as well as businesses, something to smile about. Lisa Yuriko Thomas, Reuters.